All right, in three, two, one. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode of Platinum Podcast. Today, I do not have a guest with me. It is just me. Um, but today we will be talking about some some things that will be helpful for you freshman college students out there, or if it's just your first time going to college, or even if you're going into high school for the first time. So stay tuned, and we'll be going through f- my five tips that I regret not doing, or um, I look back now and I'm being I'm a, I'm like, man, what the hell, you know? But then like, uh, before we do that. Let's address the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is obviously I haven't been posting for like a long time, and um, obviously no excuses. I usually do this with my channel all the time when I did my fashion channel. Anyways, uh, there was always that big gap, um, but you know I took a little break because it was summer and obviously you know the, I did a lot of traveling. Uh, back and forth not even like vacation traveling but then like just traveling back and forth between here and going back home for certain events and um once the school year comes around that is when i do have like a better set schedule and more time for my youtube channel and for this podcast so yeah that is the elephant in the room and let's get on to these five uh freshman college tips that i do want to say is pretty good i think it's pretty good i mean i came up with them um just a couple minutes ago <laughs> because i wanted to put out a video out but then um i think these uh are really important because i struggled with these when i was a freshman in high or uh, in college because honestly when i was a freshman in college i did not know what the hell i was doing and i mean obviously i had a buddy my brother dc was with me with me the whole time but that didn't help because we were both freshmen so we were both kind of clueless into doing uh, a lot of things we were we did a lot of things wrong let's just say that but um going straight into tip number one is participate in every freshman event because let's say orientation or new student orientation freshman orientation or um i don't know we went to uw milwaukee so they had that panther fest and they had other other events too that we did not participate in we didn't participate in the freshman orientation I think it was the freshman orient or something that included all the freshmen and they were giving them the tour. I think that's the freshman orientation, but we gave ourselves the tour because we had no idea what was going on. And we just saw, we ran into the freshman group too, while we were freshmen and they were a huge group of freshmen uh, just walking around, uh, getting the tour that, that we needed because we were freshmen and we did not know the campus like that. And I, we were just laughing our asses off because we didn't know that we were supposed to be in that or we I guess we didn't I don't know if we didn't check our emails or I don't know if, if they didn't email us or we just were supposed to know about that because we were freshmen. But I have no idea what happened. And because of that, I think I mean, we did get to learn the campus by ourselves, you know, but then like we didn't get that freshman feel or freshman welcoming that we we wanted. You know what I mean? But um and also the panther fest i do regret not going like there's a panther fest panther fest is like concerts and stuff like that or like yeah so just participate in the events that are going on around your school that's when like you meet new people and especially when you're a freshman you're coming in fresh from high school and i we didn't know any like there was a few people that was from our school but we barely saw them i mean we barely talked to them in high school anyways so obviously you know, we there was that time where like shit, we don't have any friends. You know, so I mean that that is gonna be um one of the one of the tips later on too. But moving on to number two is be sure to have a fresh outfit on your first day of class or classes because I don't know if it's just me or it's just because I I like uh, fashion and I don't know what it is, but I like. Every time, I still do it to this day. Like, I'm still going to do it when school starts for me this September, you know. Um, Just making sure you have that fresh outfit or at least a clean, nice, and fitted outfit once it's your first day. Uh, I don't care what you wear. I don't care what you're into. I don't care what your style is. Um, But just make sure it's you 
and make sure you're rocking it confidently because it is your first day and your outfit says a lot about you especially on your first day especially when you're a freshman that's when like people are really judgmental not gonna lie like freshmen college students um <laughs> y'all need to check your shit because you know just just make sure you're comfortable with what you're wearing and at the same time just make sure you dress appropriately to the weather i know it is hot depending on where you are where i am is pretty hot um so just dress appropriately and dress like confidently and dress your best man because it'll help it'll help Moving on to number three, don't be afraid to ask questions if you get lost. Don't be those people who's just wandering around and is just too scared to ask questions or too scared to ask for help. For sure, I don't think the first, I think the first couple of days there will be, um, like, um, I don't know who, what you call, I, they're not, um, they're like older students that will help the younger students where to go if they get lost i don't know what they're called i don't know if they're um ras or i don't know if they're like a part of like the student advisor board or something like that but they're just there to help you navigate through the big ass campus that you're going to be on and just going through to your classes like crisp and nice because you will get lost you know trust me um going going to that one too make sure you um Make sure you know where your classes are. Uh, a couple of days before, a couple of days before um, I start my classes, I tend to uh, go make sure I know where the classes are a couple of days ahead, so I know where to go and I know which way um, to go to and which room to go to. Cause I mean, it is kind of funny when there is somebody else like, oh shoot, like I'm in the wrong classroom and stuff. Like it is kind of funny, but then like. I ain't trying to be that person that I ain't trying to be late on my first day. You know what I mean? It's the first day is that's when you introduce yourself confidently. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid to ask questions and you'll be all right. Moving on to number four, man, we're going through these real quick. Um, number four, don't be afraid to try new things, man. Um, again, that was my, that was my problem too. When I was a freshman, I was scared. I wasn't scared. I just, I was just like, I was just not wanting to try new, like, I was just not wanting to try new things for some reason. Like, I had friends, but then they were older, so I was just kicking it with them the whole time, you know? But then my, that was my fault that, like, I didn't want to hang out with, like, other freshmen because they were trying all these new things, you know what I mean? All these new events or all these new clubs and stuff like that, and I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't about it, you know what I mean? And that's one thing that I do kind of regret. And, um, you know, try new things, try new clubs. You know, if you don't like it, you could always quit the club, you know what I mean? And if you do like it, it goes good on your resume that you joined this one club and you were, like, a president of that club or something or, like, an active member of that club. So just try new things and try new clubs. It doesn't hurt to uh, go there for a day or two, and if you don't like it, just leave that's what I do now. I just go to a club, and if I don't like it, I just leave because you're not going to want to waste your time with that if you don't like it. But for sure, there will be a club for you if you're out there searching for one. So try new things. Don't be afraid to try new things. And the last tip I have for you guys, and this one is obviously just tying back with all of these, is just try to meet new people. Um, when you're a freshman, man, uh, you don't, unless you planned it with your high school buddies, you don't really know anybody unless you like, you just run into them like randomly, which I've ran into a couple people that I've went to high school with. Um, I've, I've been, I've been to like two different colleges and I'm on my third different college right now. So I've been in college for a while. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's just, is just try to meet new people you know new people gives you new experiences and you never know when um you're that friend that new friend you make is going to help you in the future you know what i mean and that's not saying for you just to use them like that but build a relationship build that network and for sure you guys if you guys do have a good friendship you know you you scratch their back they'll scratch yours in the end of the day um you know i do 
I don't have a lot of friends from like um from UW Milwaukee that I still keep in touch to today. I just have literally one or two that I still talk to um not on the regular, but once we talk it's like we never we never stop talking, you know what I mean? So uh this year I'm I'm excited to, you know, meet new people cuz it's a different campus and trying new things, trying new clubs. And yeah, I mean, I'm not a freshman anymore. Obviously, I'm getting pretty old, but then it's a new environment. And there you go. There are your five tips that I think it is vital for freshman college students. And if you're not a freshman college student and you're still taking at least one of these five tips, good for you and good for me because I helped you guys. Okay. Um. Again, huge shout out to um, uh, my my bro fang i don't know why i'm pausing like that but huge shout out to my bro fang low vang um he's just started him and his friend i forgot i'm sorry bro i forgot your what your name was but him uh my my brother fang and his friend they just started a new podcast called uh, uh dope insights and it's about fitness health and entrepreneur and they'll be bringing on uh special guests to go talk to um about fitness health and entrepreneurial stuff and all that stuff too. I'll leave their link in the description below. But huge shout out to them. Uh, they just launched their channel today, or yesterday. I mean, they just launched their channel yesterday, and you know that motivated me to like shit. I gotta get back on this stuff. You know, I gotta get back on my podcast grind. So thank you guys for uh, motivating motivating me and bringing me back and making these videos again. Because once again, man, I love making these videos. It's just. You know, sometimes it's hard to motivate myself, you know, and that's my biggest problem as a content creator. But again, thank you, Fang. Thank you. I forgot your brother's name, but thank you guys. Thank you, Dope Insights. Make sure you guys go check out Dope Insights. I'm pretty sure they're going to have some dope, dope content coming out real soon. So, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, This is a good place to end it. My name is Austin Tao. This is the Platinum Podcast, and that was five tips for you freshman college students. Stay safe and peace.